Previously on the President's Play... Oh, I'm never going to get used to teleporting around like this. My stomach can't handle it. I think we have bigger things to worry about than your upset stomach, Barack. Like, what the hell happened to the color? Oh, shit, it's Elvira. What's up? Hey there, boys. Didn't imagine I'd be running into a bunch of U.S. presidents in this film. Well, we didn't imagine we'd be here either. But since we are, how about me and you go on a date? How are we supposed to take out that massive monster? We're going to drop a massive fucking bomb on it. For once in your life, Barack, dropping bombs is the correct decision. Got it first try. Oh, shit, we did it, boys. This meth-laced bomb is ready to blow. Well, that was rather boring. If the zombies won't tear you apart, we'll see how long you last against the cryptids and beasts from beyond. What a cold and dank-looking place. Where on Earth are we now, guys? Nowhere, Joe. We're on another planet. Welcome, my presidential pawns, to the beast from beyond, my undisputed magnum opus. If by undisputed you mean disputed by every single person to ever play this shit, then you're right, Willie. Nobody wanted Extinction to come back, and frankly, this is worse than even those horrible maps and ghosts. Shut it, you tubby orange buffoon. You four will soon be alien lunch, so prepare yourselves for your final moments, captured on film for the world to see. Come on, guys, let's just ignore Pee Wee Herman and get to exploring this place. I do remember we need to turn the power on before zombies will spawn in. Let's hurry, too. These alien bastards are no joke. Even with these assault rifles, they're still incredibly dangerous. These things are really scary looking. Oh, no, I think I might have just wet myself. Joe, was it really necessary for you to share that with the rest of us, you senile fuck? I'm just glad I'm wearing my diaper. I rely on these things all the time in my twilight years. All right, Joe, too much information. Anyways, I found Neil's head. We just need to put this in the computer at spawn, and that should restore power. I got it, Obama. We should start seeing zombies soon. Anyways, how in the hell are we supposed to do this Easter egg? I barely remember anything about this map. Don't worry, George. I know all the steps needed to escape this nightmare. We first need to find a little box and blow it open with a grenade and collect a green skull. That does sound vaguely familiar. But how in the hell do you know that, Joe? I know you've never done this Easter egg, certainly not enough to remember the steps so clearly. I know far more than you could ever realize, Donald. A couple of us should also try and get the Kendalls out of the box. They'll be a massive help during the boss fight. I think I found that little box Joe was talking about. Gonna throw a grenade. All right, found the skull. If I recall correctly, we next have to stand on four spots in the large room where the portal to the theater is. That's right, Barack. Let's make like the Avengers and assemble. If we're the Avengers, then you're definitely the Hawkeye of our group, Joe. Oh, come on, man. All right, everyone get on your spot. Whatever you do, do not leave the circle. We aren't idiots like you, Joe. You don't need to explain every little thing to us like we're five. The skull's almost ready to grab. We should get the entangler from Ghosts and Skulls, and then we can start the floppy disk step. All right, got it. One of you get the floppy disk in the vent, and I'll work on opening the lab with the space helmet. How in the hell are we supposed to do the floppy disk step anyways, George? If I remember right, we have to put the four disks in the correct order, which we don't know. Don't worry, Donnie. Your old pal Joe has everything under control. Just work on getting the floppy disks, and I'll tell you what order to put them in. How could you possibly know that, Sleepy? You usually don't even know where you are. Regardless, I shot the floppy disk in the vent. We just need to find it somewhere around the map now. Will you geriatric bastards just give up already? This is not a movie where the good guys survive. Fuck you, Willard. This movie is just a shitty ripoff of Alien. I bet this shit has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. This movie's budget must have been small, too, considering you couldn't afford a celebrity guest. Sad. Screw you, uncultured Neanderthals. Extinction is a classic film series, and this installment is my crowning achievement in film. And I'm the Queen of England. This film sucks more than that ugly tan suit Obama wore. You'll end up like the Queen soon enough, George. Now, if you four will excuse me, I'm going to take a bubble bath while you die. Thanks for putting that image in my head, Willie. Just what I needed. Anyways, I got the lab open with the helmet. I'll grab the floppy disk in here, too. Good shit, George. I just grabbed the last piece for the bridge so we can open Pack-a-Punch as well. Another floppy disk should be on the ground near Pack-a-Punch. 
We'll also need to head into the projector room to spawn in a phantom alien that will drop the last disc. It's not as satisfying as building walls, but I just built the bridge to pack a punch. We're making good progress. I do remember this Easter egg being pretty short, but I am worried about that mammoth boss fight. Worry not, George. I just found the alien fuses for double pack a punch. We've overcome everything Willard has thrown at us so far. This won't be any different. Here's that blue teleporting bastard, too. Let's kill it and get that last floppy disk. Don't worry, I got this son of a bitch. And what are you doing on the floor, Obama? Get the hell up! Sorry, boys, I got surrounded. We should go play the Skullbreaker machine in the arcade so we can get all the perks. It'll help us greatly during the boss fight. Good idea, Barry. We also have all four floppy disks, so when we're done, let's place those in Neil's computer so we can finish the step. Grabbing the film reels for double pack a punch while we're here? Let's remember to drop them off at the projector room later. All right, I remember this one being pretty easy. All we need to do is shoot these colored blocks at the skulls and then fire nukes of the same color to destroy them. Let's all use only one color each round just so we don't accidentally use the wrong colored nuke. This is pretty much impossible to fail if we do it this way. I'd normally be questioning your surprising depth of knowledge for this map, Joe, but it's helping us survive, so I won't complain. Don't worry, all will be revealed in due time, Barry. That's ominous as fuck, Joe. Let's just keep shooting these skulls. Another map where I get to do my favorite activity? Launching nukes. If only there was a nice wedding in the Middle East to drop these on. That's fucked up, Barry. Anyways, just a couple more rounds of this and we'll have all our perks. All right, we did it, guys. This should ensure our victory against that pathetic little pissant Willard. Everyone bring your floppy disk to Neil's computer and I'll put them in the correct order. Fuck you, Joseph! Kanye West would have made a better president than you. At least he made graduation. I prefer my beautiful dark twisted fantasy myself. Anyways, I put in the last floppy disk. What next? Next, we need to use the entangler to grab a button off the wall in the theater and then shoot it at the Beast from Beyond poster. I think I found what you're talking about, Joe. This reminds me of the nuclear launch button. I almost pressed that many times after someone pissed me off on Twitter. All right, now someone needs to head to the lab and press the button there. It should be hidden underneath a desk. I got it, Joe. Now, what exactly did that do for us? If you look nearby in the labs, George, you'll see a panel on the wall with some tubes you can flip. We need to get all of them to face the same direction. If you turn one, others will be affected, so we need to be smart here. Let me take a crack at this sleepy. After all, my IQ is 4,329,211,402. Believe me. Holy shit, Donald, you actually did it. Does that mean we're ready for the boss fight? Not quite, George. Let's meet up by Neil. We need to bring his head to pack a punch using the entangler. Just protect whoever carries his head and we'll be fine. I got the head. Just keep me safe, guys. I don't want to end up as the black guy that always dies first in this movie. My films never resorted to such tropes, Obama. I am very progressive in my writing. I even thought about remaking Nightfall with a black actress portraying Samantha Cross. That's cool and all, Willie, but nobody remembers your shitty extinction maps. And Samantha Cross was a ripoff of Samantha Maxis, you plagiarizing hack. Sort of like how your wife plagiarized mine in a speech, Trump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Anyways, Obama just brought Neil's head to the projector room. What now? Now we can go to the boss fight. We just need to get set up with good weapons and pack a punch. I highly recommend buying the VPR off the wall in the theater. It melts all enemies and is insanely good against the mammoths. I've got a fire sale fortune card as well, so everyone get to the box and we can try and get the Kendalls. Come on, Magic Wheel, don't let me down. Oh shit, guys, I got the Kendall. Good shit, George. At least one more of us should get them, just to be safe. Now we just need to build our points and finish unlocking Double Pack-A-Punch. All right, I just put the film reels in the projector. I'll head to the theater to grab the Spaceland Brute helmet with the Entangler. You got the helmet. Now we just need to place it on this cutout over here and then we can unlock double pack a punch. Good shit. I got the Kendall as well, so we should stand a better chance during the boss fight. We're almost out of this nightmare, guys. Let's finish upgrading our guns and put an end to Willard's plans. All right, fellas, this is it. Are you scared yet, Willie? 
We're about to escape this shitty movie, and then we're going to kick your ass. You prehistoric politicians are no match for my cryptid army. This is where you meet your end. Everyone, come over here. Let's teleport to the boss fight arena. Here we go, guys. This is it. We win or we die. There's an ammo crate in this shipping container here. Remember to refill when you start to get low. All right, first we have to fight a bunch of rhinos. Just keep your aim true, and they should go down quickly. Great. I dealt with enough rhinos in the real world, like Bitch McConnell, and now here too? These ones are a lot more deadly than those rhinos, Donnie. How many of these bastards are there? Just a few more. They're no match for the presidential zomboys. All right, here come the cryptids. We just have to survive for a few minutes, and then three computers should turn on, which we quickly have to shut back down. They can't even get close when we have these Kendalls upgraded. Pretty soon they'll be coming from all sides, so get ready to run. They just keep coming. How much longer till those monitors come on? Soon, George, just don't lose focus. We aren't even at the hardest part yet. Tear them limb from limb. They cannot be allowed to live. Got one of these monitors. I got one too. Someone get that last one. I got it, guys. What now? Now we just have to survive a 99-second countdown while swarms of aliens chase us. Everyone just try and run clockwise around the room together so we don't get in each other's way. This way, guys. Don't stop moving. Just ignore those bastards behind us. Focus on the ones blocking our way forward. Oh, shit. A rhino. Watch out, guys. Fuck, there's two of them. They got me and Joe. Pick us up when you can. I'm popping a Phoenix up, Fortune Card. Get your asses up and start moving. Thanks, George. I thought they had me. How much longer do we have to run around like this? Only about 20 more seconds, George. Just keep running. They got me down again. This constant running is wearing me out. I got you, Donnie. I'm sure you're not used to this much exercise. Maybe you'll lose some weight. Now's not the time for jokes, Barry. All the aliens are gone. I think the mammoths are coming. Here they come. These things are bullet sponges. Shoot them when you can, but be careful because they bleed blue flames that will make it harder to move around safely. At least it's just these two big bastards for now. We can breathe for a little bit. So far, so good, guys. Just keep moving together. Ah! He knocked my ass into the fire! I got you, Joe. Get up. Don't worry, Donnie. I'll come back around and pick you up. This is starting to get pretty hectic, fellas. You fools cannot beat my mammoths. What a fantastic death scene this shall be. Fuck these blue flames. Someone pick me up when you get the chance. Gotcha, Barack. Now we have to deal with the regular cryptids on top of these big blue bastards, so everyone focus. We put thousands of bullets into them already. Surely they're close to dying. These things have a lot of health, George. This won't be an easy fight. Guys, I have one of these infinite ammo cards. Let's use this to really fuck these big boys up. Hell yeah, give them everything you've got, fellas. We should be able to deal a lot of damage here. We won't let you bastards defeat us. I need to get home to my beautiful Melania. Don't worry, Donald. We're all going to see our families again soon. Just keep shooting. Poor Donald. After you die here, I'm going straight to Trump Tower to riz up your widowed wife. I don't think so, little Willie. We just killed one of your precious mammoths. It's over for you, Willie. There's no chance of us losing now. Everyone focus fire on this giblet head. We got him, guys. We're finally going to go home. Oh, my stomach. Wait, look, guys. We're back at the theater. Where's that little toothpick, Willard? He's about to feel my wrath. Um, hello, gentlemen. Please allow me to explain. There's nothing to explain, you slimy little weasel. Guys, we still have our weapons from the film. Let's kill Willard and be done with this. Wait, what? Good idea, George. This fool has outgrown his use. Goodbye, Willard. I'll see you in hell. Wait, this wasn't part of the deal. You all must listen to me. I don't know what deal you're talking about, Willard, but clearly you haven't mastered the art of the deal like me. Goodbye, you sad little worm. Ah! Oh, dear God, help me. Wow, he survived that. Let's see how he likes a magnum to the kneecaps. Ah! Ah! Please, no more. I can't even move. I'll put him out of his misery, don't worry. My machine gun will finish this quickly. Ah! Ah! Mommy, please help me. I don't know how he's even alive. There's only one way to truly finish this, though, I suppose. 
with an RPG. Holy shit joke. There's nothing even left of him. Just a red stain on the floor. Can't say he didn't get what was coming to him. Now let's get the hell out of here so we can put all this behind us. Wait a minute, Donald. The exits are closed. How in the hell do we get out of here? I have a bad feeling about this, guys. <laughs> Willard's death was merely the beginning. Soon the truth will be revealed and your souls will be mine. President Bush here. I hope you all enjoyed this video for the final map in Infinite Warfare. But as you can see, this isn't the end. I hope you all look forward to the epic conclusion of the President's play, Infinite Warfare. I'd like to remind you all, as usual, that we have a Discord server with nearly 700 members. It's a great place to hang out and meet fellow Zombies fans and make new friends. We also have a Patreon with a bunch of cool benefits, such as early video viewing and your name included at the end of every video. With that said, I'd like to quickly thank each of my wonderful patrons. Clay was here. Nick, Josh 2K, Jordan Rivas, Chin Diesel 98, Kawakami, Cyrus Logan, Circus Hack, L. Jim Plum, Aspiring Aries, Adam, Shaggy Rogers, Ozzy, Fishy McBites, Bean Gobbler underscore 2332, XWB Gaming, Cards Fan underscore STL, Lucas Federico, Lemon Tart 01, Luigi 369, and Jailbreak. With that said, I thank you again for watching the video, and as always, God bless.